Y'all see the top ick. I, I, I had to switch it up, man. Because I feel like the last phrase that I put out there, it wasn't catchy enough. But that's some real shit. The key to all this shit being right, to everybody being happy, peace on earth, we just need to have, you know, everybody need to be in open relationships, man. It should be open season, free love. It should be like the 60s. And we got enough technology and knowledge and information to, to, to avoid ourselves from spreading disease and all that bullshit. I think a lot of times disease comes in because a lot of people that are horny, they get so fucking desperate, they pay for sex. But a lot of times they don't have that much money, so they pay for it. They, they pay low ass prices. And the people that's giving up their pussy for low prices do things like crack. And um, let me back up. They do things like crack and uh, heroin. So you a horny, you a horny ass motherfucker paying for some pussy. You know what I mean? From a person that does crack or heroin, and they don't even care about their health and shit. And that's what it, that's where the disease comes from. You understand, what I'm saying? But excluding all that, I'm 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 speaking on a level of 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 of, of uh, responsible adults that actually care for their health. You know, like when I come up with you, with these scenarios, I don't I don't think the worst case possible possible situation. You know, because it's my fantasy, it's my scenario. So why would I think the most negative shit possible when relaying my fantasy? But yo, know, open relationships, that's the key to, that's the key to happiness, man. You know why I'm putting some money away, depositing like always. You know why it's the key? Cause we some sexual beings. We sexually pent up. We want to. We want to get it in and have fun. And when you, you know what I mean, when you have this prospect that you got to deal with just just one person for the rest of your fucking life. Oh man, excuse me. At times it it can cause frustration, man. It can cause angst. It can cause anxiety, man. I feel like people people should just get it in, you know. People like, cause people be cheating on each other all the time, man. People be cheating on each other all the time. People be doing they, they spouses dirty all the time and shit. But if you had an open relationship, if you already had that established, you know what I'm saying? Like, you wouldn't be cheating, y'all. Just, you know, but come up with some, come up with some ground rules, though. If kissing is something that you can you can have it though you can have it so it's certain things that only you and your spouse or your significant other do. Like it all give each other. If that's the one thing, then you don't do oral with whoever else you mess with. Or if y'all like really kiss passionately and intently, then you don't do passionate kissing. With whoever it is you're trying to, you know, have your situation with. You know what I mean? Or if, like, if you do anal or some shit like that, then you don't share and partake in anal with whoever else you're dealing with. And then you have to have other rules. Like, a lot of times people, they don't get it in. Like, we, we just gonna pretend like disease don't exist, man. A lot of times other people, they won't get it in, you know, because they're, you know, because they're afraid of, oh, what if I come across this person? What if I run into this person? Blah, 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 whatever. So then you, sh you should have a rule where if you are going to mess with somebody else, it has to be like 50 miles from where you live at. And within a, you can't mess around in a 50 mile radius. If you're going to go and do your thing, you're going to have to get in your car, go and do your thing. What up, what up, oh, what up, oh? What's poppin', baby? I'm just talking about we all need to be in open relationships. We need we need to stop this. Oh, nobody can't fuck my girl. Nobody can't fuck my man. Nah, man, get it in and have fun. Life is fucking short, man. Life is it, yo. Life is mad short. Like we 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 have a variety in everything on this planet. Why should it stop 
in who you having sex with. And a lot of us, but a lot of us are men, we, we, we slime balls, we scumbags, you know what I'm saying? So we do our thing on the load, and it's like, yo, what if you just, if you talk to Shorty, like, listen, you could do you, you could do you. I know, how are you gonna say fuck it? Cause that's the, that's the ego. Because you know what? You know what makes you say that, oh? Your ego makes you say that because, oh, that's my bitch, nobody can't fuck with you. You, you want some possessive shit, like that's literally a part of your body. Like that's your arm or your leg or some shit like that. Nah, man, that's fucking bullshit, dude. No. We have variety in everything. We have variety in drinks. We have variety in food. We got variety in places that we travel to. You said ain't nobody, he said the hoes. <laughs> That's funny. That's some, that's some funny shit. I didn't know you was gonna go there with that. That's some good ass comedy. That's that. That's actually a good skit we can come up with. That's some funny shit. But no, put on some serious shit. We got variety in what we eat. We got variety in what we drink. We have variety in the places that we go. Why should like the whole concept of variety and having different things stop when it comes to like who we fucking know? That that shit is bullshit. Now, as far as like building a family or whatever, whatever, yo, you. Okay, you, you got your shorty or whatever Or you got your man You you could build the family You could build your family with that shit You feel me? Nobody's saying we're going to try to uproot that But as far as like just Experiencing another person's body And just having a good time And just treating it for what it is for that situation Yo, why the, why the fuck not, man? Like, people get so caught up Oh, I can't How you going to be How could, how a dude going to be like Oh, I can't stand for my girl to be with somebody else But you got no problem with fucking other people. Same thing with the chick. Oh, my man, he can't fuck with nobody. Fuck that. The old girl probably ugly. Nah, actually, chubby Spanish dudes be getting some bad bitches. But no, no, you know why? I got rules, though. See, I couldn't fuck old's girl because like, if I had, you know what I'm saying, if I was in a situation with an open relationship, I would have it to the point where you can't fuck anybody within a 50-mile radius. You understand what I'm saying? So we'll... we'll We'll, 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 we'll never cross paths. You dig? We'll, 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 we'll never cross paths as far as like who we fucking with. So it, 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 it minimizes the situation for embarrassment. But I think yo, more people need to do this shit. And yo, niggas need to drop their egos. Chicks need to drop their egos. We like variety in every single fucking thing in life. Why the fuck should they have to stop a, stop a relationship? Oh, I, I can't. My, oh, my girl, my girl, my girl can't. I mean, because it's some kind of rules, though, Richard. You gotta have. You gotta have some type of rules. You gotta have some. Hey, what up, Ty man? What's popping? You you gotta have some type of um. Some, some 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 type of decorum. You can't just be free fall. I ain't I ain't saying do that shit. Just go and fucking do whatever. You still gotta have some type of rules. But I'm saying if you're gonna get it in, just do it. It's not what you do. It's how you do it, man. Yo, so get it in and have a fucking good time, yo, baby. You wanna go? Get, listen, as long as you don't get no disease and get pregnant, cause that, that that that's that's how it go down. I'm like, shorty, I let her go, do her thing, would have you. Then she come back two days later. My dick is dripping with chlamydia juice. That that's a, that's an automatic. Okay, we broken up. That's it. It's done. Cause she can go out and cheat, and my, my dick could still be dripping with chlamydia juice. But I probably want to fucking kill her because we didn't. You know what I mean? But if, if, even if she gave me something, I probably still want to kill her. You said if you're saying pussy is fair game, why should you let geographic? Because you know the reason why I'm your man when I'm in CT. Once I cross the state line, I'm single. Exactly. No, no, I'm not saying. No, I'm not saying pussy is fair game. I'm not. That's not what I see. You're not. You're, you're, you're twisting my shit. No, it's not all fair game. I said you still have to have rules and boundaries, just so it's not. You know what I mean? If she's embarrassed by, oh damn, I just fucked this dude, and now we at IHOP eating or some shit, and that, that's my waiter or some shit, just so we don't cross paths like that. Like I'm a swinger. I've been I've been swinging. You know what I'm saying? For over, like, since 2006, you feel me? And a lot of times when I go to these parties and stuff like that, like, it be people that's not from this area. They be from way to fucking Vermont. They be from Florida. You know what I'm saying? They be from the West Coast. They be from fucking everywhere. You know what I mean? Because they not doing that shit right in their backyard. It's kind of like a fucking stripper. Hey, what a brand. It's like a stripper that's stripping, but she live in the same town that she's stripping. If you're doing some sexually deviant type shit like that, why would you do it in your own, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, but if you don't give a fuck what people think, then you do what you do. But I'm just saying to minimize the drama. 
<laughs> yeah, I used to work at IHOP. <laughs> that's funny. And I just drove past it too, so that's why I mentioned it. But what if you're in an open relationship? Oh, she said, what if and she stops having sex with you and only has, oh, what'd you say? Oh, let me back it up. And only has sex with other people. Should she still come home and give you yours? That's, that's, well, put it this way. If you're in a relationship with somebody and they no longer want to have sex with you, then you shouldn't be in a relationship with that person. Like, if you're not attracted to somebody, if you're not attracted to someone to the point where you want to have sex with them, then you shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be in a relationship with them at all. That's that's fucking stupid. Once the attraction is gone, the relationship is done. But it's impossible. It's possible to be attracted to more than one person. Swinger with no girlfriend. No, that's yeah. Because if you understand the swinger life, if you understand it's a lot of swingers, a lot of couples like single guys. We're called bulls and a lot of husbands like to watch their wives fuck single guys so you you can be a swinger without a girlfriend that's how i know you ain't in the lifestyle because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about you definitely can be but anyway because you swing you know you swing different to other people it's not about swinging doesn't mean swapping that's different there's a difference between swinging and swapping you understand what i'm saying swapping is like couple couple we're gonna swap wife wife whatever but swinging and swapping is two different things my brother Swinging is it, it, it's basically it's an alternative lifestyle. It's basically I'm meeting you and like yeah, we're doing this for the purpose of having sex, but there's no emotions attached to it. That's what a swinger is. A person that has the ability to have sex with other individuals, but separate their emotions from having sex. That's what a swinger is. Yeah. Nah, that's not a bullshit. You don't, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. You out you out you out your lane right here. I've been I've been involved with this shit since 2005. Goddamn that. But anyway. Back to the topic at hand. Why not? I don't got I don't got no ego, man. As far as far as like if you know if I'm with a chick, as long as she don't get me sick and have another motherfucker's baby, I don't I don't I don't have an ego with her. Yo, go ahead, like do you. I just I don't I don't personally want to see it. But but I'm a, I'm kind of a freaky dude, so I, I might be like, yo, how 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 was that shit? He was hitting it good? Here for the back. Oh, he came on you. Oh my god. Cause I like porn. You know what I mean. So I'm the type of dude I probably would be entertained by that shit. You put this jazz back on. No, every no, 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 no. Every new married or single is not a swinger, because another thing with swingers is you have to go to an atmosphere or an environment that's a swingers party and everybody's on the same page. There's a difference between. You go into like a controlled environment with every, but the point is for people to have fun and just some dude just randomly running the clubs hoping that he gets some pussy. That's not that's not swinging, brother. That's not it's not, it's not the same thing. It's not the same. And it's women that go to swinging parties. There's single women that go to swinger parties. They're called unicorns. Swing, single men that go to swingers parties, like black men, they're called bulls. I don't know what they call single white guys that go to swinger parties, but single women, regardless of her race, if she goes by herself to a swingers party, she's called a unicorn. So trust me, I know all about this shit, man. You can't you can't debate me with some shit that you don't know, like you that you haven't experienced. Though. Every every dude married a single is not a swinger. No, they're not. No, they aren't. No. Uh, uh. Nah, nah. We definitely don't love them hoes. That's the whole point. You separating love from having sex. That's all I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that people would just fucking get over their hangups and like, yo, my wife. You know what I'm saying? She really. She saw some dude online or whatever, and she really wanted. She, I just want to fuck him. I don't want to do nothing. I just want him to hit it from the back. Home might have. I got a gut. He got abs. He want to fuck the shit out of me. And that, that's what she, I don't want to leave you. But I just want this nigga to bust it down. You know, he don't got to know my first name or where I live. We just want to go. We ain't even want to exchange numbers. Yo, black men are called bulls. It's kind. Of, yeah, it is kind of racist because bulls are fucking black, and bulls are used for breeding. It is it, some racist shit. And then white women. That love black men, they're called, this is racist shit, but they're called queen of spades. <laughs> and that's some real shit. They call queen of spades. You know what I mean? It's kind of, it's, there's, a, there's, there's definitely like a, a, a racial element. And a lot of like white husbands like to watch their wives get fucked by black men. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's an underground, there's like a pseudo homoerotic element to it. But I'm just in it for the, I'm just fucking, I'm just having a good time. But that's swinging. I'm not even really talking about swinging. I'm just talking about like open relationships, man. Like, yo, variety is the spice of life. 
why we 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 like variety and i keep reiterating this we like variety in everything that we have on this fucking planet so why should it stop when it comes to relationships and if i could do my thing i got a girl and i can do my thing and go out yeah, that's me, but I'm a clock. I can't go out and fucking do her thing, man. Like, that, that's all I'm saying, man. Fuck it, go, go ahead, get it in. Have a good time. Tell me how it was. Matter of fact, take some pictures. I, I'll masturbate to that shit. <laughs> Have fun, man. My tracking is off for my, um, it seems like my words are behind. Like, I'm talking, but like, my words are behind, like, my mouth, as, as my mouth is moving. But yeah, just have fucking fun, man. Like, there need more peace on earth. And just, people just need to just have more sex and, like, eliminate their hangups. Now, you got weird motherfuckers that take pussy and all this crazy shit. I'm not talking about these crazy motherfuckers. I don't have an answer for them. I'm just talking about normal, relatively sane people that are having consensual sex with adults. That's what I'm speaking about. We need to get up on it, get 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 it, give it, get over these dumbass hangups and just have fun. Have a good time, yo. Who cares, man? And, and, and then... Like say your wife get it in or whatever, whatever. You don't gotta fucking tell everybody that shit. That's your business. You say me and you live that close together, so we can. So when you get a girlfriend, introduce me to her. No, 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 no. See, this is the thing. If my girl go do her thing, it's up to her to go and find her people. I'm not recruiting motherfuckers for her. You know what I'm saying? Now, if she chooses to recruit a chick for me, that's cool. But I'm not gonna. I mean. But I might, it might be somebody, you know what? Yo, damn, I got my, my chick bad as motherfucker. My chick bad. You know what? I'm about to hook her up with somebody. Like, like that's diesel to me. Like, you too ugly. Like, I want to hook you up with my girl because you, I feel like she would think that you ugly. So, I, nah, I couldn't. Nah. Nah, I would I would have to, I judge, I judge a nigga. You got to be handsome in my eyes for you to, for you to get the prize of my wife. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good, man. You know what I mean? But yo, man, y'all need to give up. Y'all need to get up on these, get up, give up these fucking bullshit ass hangups and have some fun. Enjoy these people because it's going to come a point in time when your dick don't work no more, when the pussy all dried and shriveled up, and you ain't going to be able to physically do nothing in your entire life. You said she got it. Yeah, she got, she come home. She home. She come home trying to kiss you with the penis breath. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, I mean, that's, that's a dirty bitch. She need to fucking brush her teeth and wash her mouth. Listen, we eat at restaurants. Do you know how many motherfuckers that had AIDS that probably ate at the restaurant that you ate, but you still eating off the fucking fork, but you still eat at the restaurant? Why? Because you know somebody's cleaning that shit and keeping that shit right. You feel me? You know how many motherfuckers got diseases and shit that eat? And sit on the same toilets and do all kinds of shit. That's that ego shit. Because you all worried about some other motherfucker's dick being in your girl mouth and then kissing you in the mouth as if you don't have an immune system that can combat and fight shit. Now all of a sudden, you like the boy in the bubble that's susceptible to anything in the world. If your girl do some shit to um, yeah, that's not sus. It's just, bitch, bitch wash your fucking mouth. You know how many people suck dick that you ate this, that you use the same fork that they use? When you go to a restaurant, you still go to a restaurant, eat they fork, eat they food. And then you, if you one of them corny ass fucking uh, 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 corny ass customers like, oh, I want plastic forks, I want plastic forks, blah blah blah, nigga, you ain't get then they, they don't got plastic plates though. You gonna ask for a plastic plate at Red Lobster too? You want a plastic plate and a plastic fork? And then they cook that shit in a pot, and a pot is used over and over and over and over again. So what you want a fucking plastic pot to cook your food in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go. Oh, hey. I gotta think the dude is handsome. I'm, I'm, my bitch ain't fucking no ugly nigga. That ain't, that's not suspect. I know what the fuck handsome is. I can look at a nigga and be like, oh, this nigga look like he get bitches. Like, if I look at Boris Cujo, I could, I'd be like, yo, that nigga handsome. He's in shape. That nigga get bitches. But then if I look at Flavor Flav, I'm like, that nigga getting pussy because he's fucking famous. I mean, they both getting pussy because they fucking famous. Exactly. Exactly. Like, I get, get over that. That. Bullshit, ego, egotistical shit. Oh, you kissing my kids? Blah blah. Yo, listen, you don't. You ate your girl pussy and her asshole, and then the next morning you kissed your baby on the forehead, or you kissed your baby on the cheek. So get the fuck out of here. We all be exchanging and and and, 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 and sharing weird shit in weird situations all the fucking time. We do that shit all the fucking time. But oh, we want to have these fucking hang up. That's the fucking ego. That's the ego that I be telling. You got to get rid of that bullshit ass ego, man. Yeah, part of the rules is mouth watching too bad, bitch. Watch your mouth. But then some some niggas is on is, is slimy 
they want niggas to come inside their girl and they'll eat the pussy right after or they'll kiss her right after she sucks somebody else's dick. But that's a whole nother weird ass look. Some niggas is on that bullshit because they don't want to be all the way gay, but they do like somewhat gay shit to get their gay shit off. You know what I mean? Like, nah, but, but that, that, nah, that's nah, 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 nah. Baby girl, you got to clean your shit up. I don't like sloppy seconds. I'm not... I'm not interested in that shit. I gotta go first, man. I gotta go first. I got, I got, I gotta go first. I gotta, I gotta get it popping first. Period. You know what I mean? But no, yo, we need to fucking have fun and get over this ego shit, man. So my girl, my girl got it in. She fucked somebody else. That's cool. Now she paying somebody else's bills and let him use a car and all that shit. Then, then, then I have a problem with that shit. No, no. When it comes to fight, if my finances is, is directly helping out your relationship, your little side thing, shit. Nah, 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 nah. We can't. We, we, nah. We can't do that unless he paying me back. Like we need receipts. We need invoices. You understand what I'm saying? We need, like if if my money is helping her get dick. Then I need a fucking invoice for 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 your pleasure that you get him because it's directly coming from my pocket. Then we got a fucking issue in that situation. You know what I'm saying? It's mad traffic out here. Damn, this shit crazy, man. But yeah, man, like motherfuckers, you know, I know that ego, that egotistical shit, man. Thank you. That egotistical shit, that shit is that shit is corny to me, man. Cause every everybody wanna get it in and do their thing, but nobody wanna see they people's, their significant other get it in and do their thing. And that, that shit is that shit is that shit is bullshit to me, man. That shit is fucking total that's that, that shit is total fucking bullshit. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, the traffic is lit right now. Don't don't mind me, but I'm I'm trying to make a move right now. Yeah, good, we good. Yeah, man, that, that shit is that shit is that shit is cool. He said I don't have a problem with dudes fucking my girl because they ugly. I have a problem with the fucking my girl because they got a dick. <laughs> That's your ego, man. If you want, if you, Rich, if you want to get it in and get other pussy and have fun, why your girl can't have fun with other dicks, man? You gotta get, you gotta get rid of that ego, man. He said, well, I'm at England. I'm in New England, motherfucker. <laughs> well, look, look. I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the camera's on reverse, so everything looks, everything is reversed or whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's why it looks like I'm driving on the left side. Because the camera's, I'm, I'm using the, I'm using the rear camera on my phone. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, man, yo, get it in, have fun. Y'all, any, everybody that got wives and couples and shit like that, y'all need to really sit down and real, be real with each other. Because I'm going to tell you like this. When people are attracted to each other, you're attracted to each other because you have similarities on a subconscious level. So if you're a dirty dick nigga that love fucking mad bitches and shit like that, and you like getting it in and doing your thing and fucking and coming and all this crazy shit, I'm going to tell you something. On a subconscious level, your girl feels the same exact way. But the only reason why she doesn't come out and admit that she's that type of person, because she's afraid of, she's afraid of how you're going to react because she thinks that way. But if you got her, it's because she thinks the way that you think, but on a subconscious level and, and, and Vice versa. Same thing. If you was a, if you a dirty ass chick that like to fucking get it in and have and get it popping, and you got your main man and he's all about you and he's a fucking pussy and shit like that, on the low inside of his body and his mind and subconscious, he thinks the same exact fucking way. He thinks the same way. So y'all need y'all y'all need to be honest with each other. Y'all need to be honest with each other. Put shit on the table. Like yo, I love you. I'm all about you. But I just like doing things on the side, man. And it has nothing to do with me not loving you. I just like variety in people. And she says the same thing. Y'all just, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's still, the ego's still um, going to be kind of there or whatever. So then you establish like little rules so that it's it's palatable. It's kind of like, it's kind of like eating food that, like a new dish or whatever. So you, you put some seasoning on it to make it a little bit palatable, palatable so that, that you can take it. So you you establish these rules like maybe no kissing when it comes to the other parties or no oral sex or no anal or we only mess with people, uh, we don't mess with people in this particular city, you know? I'm not messing up nobody's relationships. I'm, 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 I want motherfuckers to be honest with themselves, man. It's only going to, you know how it's going to mess up. It's only going to mess up if people ain't real with themselves. If one person being fake, if they both, both being totally real, now if they don't want to do it, if they truly about each other and they don't want to fuck each other, I'm not uh, other people. Rather, I'm not talking to y'all people, man. I'm talking about people that that have this in the back of my mind. Damn, I want to fucking get it in, but I don't know what my wife gonna think if I do this. Or a chick. Damn, I want to get it in, but I don't know what my husband gonna think if he gonna do this, man. 
Yo, you need to get on average dude ain't going to take too kindly to some other dude running up in him. Yeah, the average dude, but I'm not speaking on the average people. Again, that's not the audience that I'm talking to. That's like, if I'm talking, I'm at a meat convention talking about the wonders of meat, and some dumbass motherfucker be like, but what about the vegans? I'm gonna fuck about the vegans. I'm not talking about vegans. I'm talking about carnivores, man. I'm talking about the people that's down with this shit. I'm not talking about the people that don't wanna do this shit. That's irrelevant. Why the fuck would I be? I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to convince anybody. I'm not trying to preach to somebody. I'm not trying to preach to people that's not interested. I'm already talking about people that already think this shit in their head that want to do it. I don't give a fuck about people that's that are morally righteous and upstanding and 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 and, and, and fucking want to act holier than now. And they all about their ego and they think they own and possess the other person. I don't give a fuck about those people. That's not who I'm talking about, man. And people don't tell their secrets to their partners because they ain't fucking real. If you can't tell your secrets to your partner, your relationship going to fail any fucking way. It's not going to work anyway. You understand what I'm saying? If you, if, you, if you don't have the type of relationship where, you know what I'm saying, y'all you guys can build and if this is what the two of you want to do, if y'all can't build like that, you shouldn't be in a relationship. But people that's down with that shit already know about everything. That, nah, but, but no, but no, nah, that's not true. It's some people that think about it or it's, it's in their mind. But they never had a person to kind of relate to and to kind of talk about and, 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 and to kind of bring it out. That's not true, man. That's not true at all. You you, you got to start from a certain point. You don't just fucking just get there. You fucking there. Marriage is like 50 years or more. All have secrets. Yeah, I think everybody has a level of secrets and everybody has privacy and everybody has things that they take to the grave. I'm not saying you got to tell every fucking single thing that you ever want to do or desire on earth. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is people that kind of want to get it in with other people. I'm keeping it simple. I'm keeping it basic. I'm thinking about fucking. I'm like, I'm with my girl, right? Oh, hypothetically. I'm thinking, damn, I'm always, I'm always thinking about fucking other people. And I hear through the grapevine, she always thinking about fucking other people. So I talked to him like, yo, I heard so-and-so such and such. She was thinking about doing this. Oh, no, I didn't know. Like, listen, I got the video. I got the tape right here, blah, blah, blah. Like, damn, I, yeah. But I would never do that. To, and I was like, like, listen, baby, I've been thinking about doing that type of shit, too. Your relationship's over early. I like to fuck. I got a problem. I'd like to fuck. I got a problem. Your relationship over early. <laughs> that's, yeah, but, but that but that's where an uh, ego uh, ego driven person that's on some bullshit, man. You know what I mean? But anyway, like I was saying, like I've, I've kind of been in relationships like this, but you know they ended, but not because we was trying to fuck other people. We just we just didn't really get along, so that's why they why, that's why it ended or whatever. But. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, baby, I heard, you know, you was wanna get it in. First, you gonna fucking try to like, nah, nah. Uh, you know, I would never do that to like, listen, I got the tape, like, this is you talking about doing something with so-and-so. I was like, it's cool because I've always thought that shit too. And then that's where the conversation starts. And then you come and you start establishing some rules. Now, I don't have to be in an open relationship. If I'm gonna be monogamous, then we'll be monogamous. But I can be in a situation where like, yo, she do our thing, I do my thing. But at the end of the day, it's a business. We still come together. We still, you know what I'm saying, paying bills in our house. We still raising our kids together, blah, 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 blah. But every now and again, we go out to still experience other people just to enjoy life. Life is fucking fucked up, man. Life is fucked up as it is. So if fucking an occasional person every now and again while you're still able to fuck makes life a little bit better, then why not do it, yo? Get over your ego. Oh, I can't have somebody fucking my girl. Shut the fuck up. You won't own that motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, man. That's bullshit. And, and, and I'm, I'm speaking to the individuals that's down to do their own thing and do their thing with other people's but can't stand to see their significant other do their other thing. You a selfish ass bastard if you think that way on some real shit, man. I, what you mean when I'm confronting? Well, I've been in the situation, Richard. I've been in this situation. I was in college. I had my girl straight up, one of my best friends. Yo, we we always was trying to swap girls, but it's like out of the four of us, somebody always didn't want to do it. And I was the one that was always down. I was never the one that'd be like, nah, I couldn't do it. Like sometimes my girl didn't want to do it, or then sometimes his girl didn't want to do it, or then sometimes he didn't want to do it. It was like one out of the four was always acting funny, but I was the one constant that was always fucking down, man. It's best to know not sh that she's not creeping, definitely. But if you have an open relationship, she's not creeping. That's not creeping because you know she's going to do a thing. Creeping is when you're doing some shit behind somebody's back when you don't know what is going on. You have to work your way to having your girl let you mess with. Yeah, no, that's true. Mess with. If you say it up front, it's over. Y'all y'all would stop at friends with benefits. But there's a few open-minded people out, out there. Uh, but there's a few open-minded people out there.
No, you know, it, it definitely, there's definitely, oh, no, I'm not saying, oh, you just go in a relationship, oh, I'm just trying to fuck other people. But, but here's the thing. That's one of the, that's one of the, that, that's one of the reasons why people should, uh, that's one of the reasons why people should, uh, be friends. That's one of the reasons why people should be friends before they lovers. Because if you a friend with a person for a long time, you get to know somebody without it even being sexually, you pretty much know how this person operates. But if you, if you just hop, hopping in and fucking with somebody and then just get in a relationship, you know nothing about them, you know nothing about their family, you, you don't know their idiosyncrasies or their likes or whatever, whatever, it's always a constant surprise. So that's why it's a logical thing to be a, a friend with somebody for at least like six months to a year before you make that decision to actually go into a relationship. I, I, to, I totally understand. I, t I totally feel that shit. You know what I mean? And then... After like the year, you see her crazy ass family and she fucking blow her nose with her hands and some dumb shit. After you've been with her a year, you'll know if you'll be able to tolerate that person and be with them. But see, the thing is, a lot of us, we just fuck somebody real quick. And fucking quick, I don't got a problem with fucking quick, but I got a problem with getting in relationships quick. You understand what I'm saying? Because you like you can fuck somebody real quick, whatever, it's, the da it's dangerous to it. But there's a whole lot more trouble you can get into being in a relationship with somebody that you barely know. You can fucking get into a relationship with a person and then she's fucking in the mafia. Her father's like a mob boss or some dumb shit or a gang boss or whatever. You know, some, some crazy shit. Or if you just fuck, move and don't talk to her again, you don't got to worry about that shit no more. Do you feel me? He said, creeping is the best way to do it. Leave it a whole lot of problems. Creeping, I said, for you. But I, I think creeping is, a, is, is it's a, the problem with that is when you do dirt, for some reason, that shit always surfaces in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So you creeping and doing all this sneaky shit, everything is cool. It's like putting it's like putting a dead body like at, at the bottom of a lake, a lake. Eventually, that shit gonna fucking rise to the surface. And then you fucking see this dead, this fucking carcass floating on the top of the ocean and shit like that and now you got the fbi coming in to investigate and shit like that now you on fucking trial now you on, now you now you on trial you about to lose the whole family and shit like that and then the dead body like it comes out you the one that killed the motherfucker and then you gotta you gotta hold then then they do some investigating and it's like 30 or 40 fucking dead bodies you know what i'm saying floating in the lake and shit <laughs> And, you know, and now you the fucking like you the, you the fucking serial murderer of New England because you was d doing killing all these dead bodies when you should have had an agreement to fucking kill people. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say. I don't I I don't think deception is the uh, I don't think de deception is the right answer. I really don't think it. I think being being honest and upfront about what you want. And if you're a motherfucker that want to do your thing and get it in and get it popping. You know what I'm saying, and if, if and, and if that's what you really, 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 really want to do in your heart, and your spouse ain't on that level, you shouldn't be with that person. Huh? If your if, if if your partner can't be like if your partner is not sexually compatible on the same level that you are, the same level level of deviance, the same level of desire, it will always fucking fail every single time, a lot faster than if it wouldn't, or you're gonna fucking perpetuate that shit for a fucking long time. And then, like I said, all the dead bodies gonna be floating on the top of the fucking lake and shit. And now you got all this trouble. And you got all this, you know what I mean? You get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know, it's, it's good to be honest when it comes to the things like that. Just don't be in a relationship at all and just fucking just be out there and just doing your thing, man. You got game. You can always keep bagging chicks. So why why be in a relationship if you wanna be with mad people and but, but the person that you would don't wanna be with mad people? Why be in a relationship? Cause it's like ego. You want somebody to take care of you. You want somebody to pay half your bills. You want somebody, you know what I'm saying, that can help help you keep a stable home. Yet you want to freak and do your thing on the side, but you can't stand to see them doing their thing. That shit, bull, that shit is bullshit to me. That's some fucking bullshit. I don't respect that shit, man. If you married, then this this conversation don't got nothing to do with you, man. You said married. I don't fuck. And if you marry and you don't fuck and you still married, that's your fault for being in that situation. That's your choice. You cho you choose to be that situation, man. It's like having a fucking shitty job. It's like people that got a bad job, they always complain about their job. They got the skills to go and get another job, but they rather just complain about their job instead of just going to get another fucking job. Stop now. Nah, stop complaining, man. Do something. Like they said in the movie Clerks, man. Shit or get off the pot. You got to do something. You just sitting on the toilet. So you tell me every dude... So you tell me every married dude to get divorced? No, I'm not telling every married dude to get divorced. It's some people, again, and I don't know if you trolling me or you being retarded. 
did, I'm directing this to people that want to get that 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 have the mindset of getting it in, but they feel that way, and their significant others feels that way, but they have too much ego to admit to each other that they feel that way. That's who I'm talking about. I'm not on some one-sided sided shit, just saying some shit just to benefit men only. I'm not on some one-sided shit. Just saying some shit to benefit women only. I'm talking about people that have an open mind, that have a willingness to do this, but they have not crossed that plateau to have a conversation with their significant other who thinks this way too, but they have too much ego to admit it to themselves. It's like that commercial where like, I know Dave Chappelle did a joke about it. Like his, the, the, the father was outside smoking weed, right? And he was like, damn, I wish I could find a way to relate to my son. And his son is in the room smoking weed. But they they afraid to admit to each other that they like smoking weed. That's 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 what I'm talking about, man. He said they want to fuck, so what they gonna do? No, I don't know what you're talking about right now. I'm talking about they mutually feel the same way. They mutually want to fuck other people, but they don't have the guts to tell each other that they feel that way. That's the type of people that I'm talking about, man. I know what you're saying, but I'm telling you that if they both had that mindset, they're already disgusting. It, that's why the relationship is open. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. You have to build to that point. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's yeah. Yeah, that, definitely. But I'm not talking. To, I'm not talking about those people that made that discussion. I'm talking about that individual. You still have to have a, a starting point to get to that point. I'm not talking about people that's doing it already. No, like I'm not preaching. That's like me preaching with my back to the fucking church to the choir. I'm not talking. I'm talking to motherfuckers that's out there that is in their heart. It's in their mind. But they don't, they don't have the guts to admit it. Or single individuals that want relationships like that. So now, you, you know, you're like, so there's a certain type of conversation. Because like I said, the better thing is to be friends with somebody for a long time. So you friends with a shorty or you she friends with a dude or whatever. And y'all y'all been, y'all just been chilling. Y'all been, y'all been piling it for a few months. But now you're having these types of conversations. So now she or he will know, okay, if I want to be in this type of situation with this person. But if you just fucking rushed, fuck, and now y'all living in the same apartment within a week after that shit. But you don't know about this deviancy that you both have inside you or the, the deviance that one person has that another person doesn't have because y'all rushed to get in a situation and that shit ain't gonna fucking work be friends first you can figure that shit out man we think that when a guy is getting to know his girl he's going to fill her out and see what she's down for we do but a lot of us fucking rush. like the last girl i was with like we we hooked up the first night and i was staying over her house like every every day from the first night for fucking two weeks barely knowing her getting to know her like trial by fire got like, getting getting to know her every single day and sleeping in the same bed with her every single day as opposed to like giving her a few days giving it some time get, you know getting get, getting time away from her and knowing more things about her you know a lot of us a lot of us men are just thirsty to be in relationships and we fucking just rush and just throw caution to the wind we do that fucking we do that shit all the time man we do it all the time yo and we, we need like if we want more productive productivity in relationships i really think we gotta establish, like, yeah, we can fuck. I'm, I'm, I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm all, I'm all about having sex fast. I'm down with that shit. But as far as relationship type shit and always staying over each other's house, mad early, like, nah, man. I seen the question I asked him is, have you ever been with another girl? Do you th ever think about it? Oh, yeah. That's, I think that's a, that's a good question. That's a, that's a good conversation piece. Might turn somebody off if you ask the question too early, though. I, it could be kind of personal if you ask it, ask it too early. But if you want some go for the gusto type shit, and you want to type the type of woman that has thick skin and that can deal with those kind of tough questions early on, if that's what you want, then it's a good filtration system because a bitch that's gonna be scared, she's gonna run the fuck away. But a chick that really, really, really trying to be down, she's gonna entertain that conversation. Y'all gonna engage each other and talk about it. So, nah, that's a, that's a good question. That's a good. And I'm not even on some shit like I don't need my bitch to recruit other bitches and bring women to me. I don't. You know why? I would rather not have that. Because I hate people put me on to other people because when it, when it doesn't work out, you have more resentment to her for putting the shit on. It just makes it more complicated. I'd rather her not know the bitches that I get when I put on, and I'd rather not know the niggas when he put, you know what I'm saying? When she get her own niggas, I get my own bitches. I don't want nothing to do with uh, getting your niggas, and I don't want you, I don't want her having nothing to do with getting my bitches. Nope, nope, you do, you get it, you get yours, I get mine. You don't don't recruit shit for me. No, don't do that. Nope. Unless we 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 fucking pay for a professional. <laughs> you know what I mean? I asked him right away. I say hi. My name is Richard. <laughs> Rich, you need to stop playing and get on this fucking comedy stage, man. I've been doing this shit almost three years, man. 
you need you need to get back out here, man. One of one of them jokes that you that you wrote me actually hits hard. It hits hard like a motherfucker for the past three years. <laughs> We need get get over get over the egos, man. Get over, let that shit go. Let it go, man. Have fun, open relationships, man. Have for those that want to do that. And like I said, if you want some horny ass shit, you would you want to fuck my other people, but your your spouse really really don't want to. You then you chose the wrong person. Yeah, you need to come out with me to one of these open mics, rich man, on some on some real shit. You helped me a lot with my comedy, man. You one of the people that helped me. You need to you need to get your your black ass out here. Even though you're gonna be an old ass comedian, so by the time you get on, you're gonna be like 77 years old, and then you gonna get you you gonna need Viagra with um, what's the shit that they put on your neck with, with the neck brace with all the pins and shit? You need Viagra with like the uh, dick brace to fuck, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm not yo. When it comes to sex, I'm, I'm I'm like the least egotistical person at all. That shit isn't. I'm like whatever, man. Have fun, man. Have at it, man. Do your thing. Get it in. And I've been talking way too much. I need to get in this house and take care of some business. Mo Green, I hope you were entertained by this. A lot of it's hyperbole. Don't take it too serious, man. But this was definitely fun. This was definitely a good time. I'm gonna keep doing this, man. Facebook Live done killed the whole YouTube to, to me. Like, the YouTube broadcast and shit. Facebook Live done killed it, man. But I talk to y'all. Deuces.